I remember in Shakespeare, <laughs> if you bite your thumb when you're looking at someone, that's like an insult to them, right? I mean, that feels very insulting. To me, I would do it like angrily. I'd bite down too hard. I'd probably hurt my thumb, so I wouldn't want to do that anyway. I'll try it. Try it. Let me see. Let me see if I feel insulted. Oh! Minus one point! How could you insult the judge like that, Wade? What a dick move! This is at Wade, not Mark. How? Because it does kind of hurt a little bit, yeah. Uh, the point hurts worse, but the thumb bite did hurt. You you don't want to bite on the, the base of the nail. I feel like you want to go further and bite on the skin. I think that was my mistake. Yeah, I don't know how deep you want to put it. Maybe you want to, like, thumb your the deep part of your throat, like, get all the way back in your uvula. Mm, I don't know if you need to thumb the deep part of your throat. I mean, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark, try it. Try oh, it, Mark. Try it. Yeah, I'm good. I'm I'm all right. Uh, please, everyone, don't go to Spotify and watch. Dude, the video. I can this fondle a... my uvula with the tip of my thumb. Oh, I hate that word. <laughs> what? This is not a discussion I thought we'd ever have. But do you not have a gag reflex? I think I do, but I'm not not for myself. <laughs> That's what I know said. that I do, and I know that my <laughs> gag reflex kicks in way before <laughs> I'm fondling my own uvula. That's for sure. To be fair, I've had it swell up on me three times this year, so I think I'm just used to choking on my uvula now. So, so are you, honest to God, you were like touching the little dangly, the uvula in the back? Kind of. It might be just short of it. I don't know. But let me tell you, your life changes when you have to go 24 hours with your uvula being the size of your thumb and flopping around your mouth. It changes your outlook on things. No, that does sound pretty horrendous. It's happened three times this year. Sounds like something that would happen in a cartoon. It doesn't sound like a real thing that would happen to a real person. So, Dude, you would cough and it would pop out and lay on your tongue. It was what? terrible. I'm deducting points, and I feel like that's very fair. F I'm deducting points from Wade for making. I had to live it. Sentences. I'm sorry you have the inconvenience of having to hear about it. I lived it. <laughs> how are you? How is the? What are you? What is dangling out of your mouth? I don't want to know. Don't answer that question. You know what the uvula is? It's not out of how my is mouth. How's your uvula reaching all the way out of your mouth? It swelled up. It swelled up, Mark. There's no way. There's Google no it. way you're he straight up texted us about this to where it was down my throat. I cough. It popped up and the, could partially lay on the back of my tongue. I am not OK with any of this. You said dangling out of your mouth. No, not out of my mouth. It was not out of my mouth. It was down my throat, coughed, and it came up and laid on the back of my tongue. Not like up here, but like on the back of my tongue. Like you could feel it. You could That's feel That's more it. than enough for it to be horrific. Yes. And if I open my mouth all the way, uh, it, you couldn't see the tip of it because it was down far enough to be like in my throat. That sounds like some weird kind of non-real torture technique or something. I don't. I've got pictures. You guys want to see it? No. Kinda? Find it. No, I don't. I don't want to see it, but I also am dead, like terribly curious. When was that? What, how good of a picture did you get of this? Uh, is, it with, is it just like cell phone pictures? I don't. You can't see the, like, it looks like that's the tip, but that's just the shadowing. It actually goes deeper than that. It's so long and wide. Yes. Mm. That was so horrible. That was actually after, I think I took, I don't know what time of day that was, but that was after I had gone to the doctor, gotten injected with a steroid, and then gone gotten medication, went back. So that was after the swelling had gone down some. And I found uh, getting like ice chips and just like letting ice chips sit in the back of my throat or ice cubes and stuff. It's hard when you have a bit of a gag reflex, but like just having to let that stuff sit in the back of your throat helped the swelling a little bit. And I had to gargle salt water every hour for like oh, 12 I hours. That. I hate that that's a thing the doctors tell you to do for salt. Gargling, salt water is gross. And any even the tiniest bit of salt water getting in my mouth makes me immediately want to throw up. I don't know what causes this. And it's happened to me three times this year. I had never experienced it in my life. You are, I'm, I wish we had been on tour when that happened because then you'd have quite the legacy. It was hard to talk. It's like you're, it's like you're choking when you're trying to talk. So it's like talking like this because you can't get a full range of motion out. You, okay, so you texted about this and said that this was a thing, but I feel like you undersold it when you described it. It was one of the worst things I've ever gone through because it was like always feeling like you're choking on something. And it, I had to, I woke up like that and I had to try to go to sleep the next night still dealing with it because it hadn't gone away yet. Well, you just sleep on your face and you let your uvula dangle <laughs> forward. 
And then that way it's not in your throat. It's just oh. kind of in the back of your mouth. You know, he's right. I think sleeping on my back is part of what caused it. So I wonder if I have like sleep apnea or something and it's so severe, like it causes that. I don't know. I mean, you might. I have no idea. I have very severe sleep apnea. I have never had whatever the fuck that thing is that's happening to your <laughs> uvula. So I don't know. Maybe someone out there watching or listening will have some ideas. I don't know about that. I don't think so. I don't know. Who do you go to? An ENT? Like, I don't know. Who specializes in uvulas? Ear, nose, and throat. I feel like it would be part of that. Yeah. Unless you go to the doctor and you're like, oh no, we don't do uvulas. You've got to see the guy. Here's his card. <laughs> I'm afraid you've got uvulitis. Might be a thing. That's probably a thing. That sounds like a thing. Uvulite, I mean, itis Well, you just can't means... just remove a uvula too. I googled that because I was like, I just get this thing taken out. Apparently it helps with stuff. Isn't that what they used to do? Isn't that the treatment they used to do for snoring before like CPAP Maybe. machines and all this stuff existed? But this is kind of an important little dangly. I swear there was a surgery where it was like, we'll just laser that uvula right off there. You'll stop snoring. No more uvulas for you. Man, I'm not a doctor. Let me Google it. I, look, this has been... It helps prevent food and liquid from going up your nose when you swallow it. Seems like a bad way to accomplish that goal. I feel like a, a, there could be a different design to that element of the throat, I gotta be honest. It's like the little cap in the top of your toilet bowl when you flush, it like lifts up to let the water out, then closes back. You go to swallow and it closes the breathe hole in your nose. That's, it's like one of those uh, one of those Japanese sodas with the marble in the top. Ah, <laughs> when you go to take about. a sip, the little marble rolls out of the way, but then you set it down and the marble closes it. Ah. That's uh, a soda ah. uvula. Okay, well, good to know. So duvula. So that is all for small so talk. Feel I feel like I should have deducted way more points from Wade, but I won't out of fairness. I hope nobody was eating, drinking, or driving whenever they uh, looked at the image I showed.